Welcome back, everybody. Hi, YouTube. Chat saying hi, YouTube. YouTube say hi, chat. Uh, we're playing more Phoenix Ride today. Yesterday, we did the first investigation of case two. I forgot what it's called. Reunion and turnabout. It's literally right in front of my eyeballs. Um, and now we're going into the trial. So I'm going to try to remember all of the, um, the stuff I found yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to try. Uh, I really hope Eeny Miney goes on the stand. I've been thinking about her nonstop. I don't know if I want to be with her or be her. I think I want to be her. She's just so, like, mentally vacant. And I, I love that about her. So let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. <gasps> District Court Defendant Lobby Number Three. Jesus. Uh, how is the audio? Is it okay? I put it down to where it was yesterday, so I'm hoping everything sounds fine. How do you remember everything? Is well, we played it yesterday, but whenever there's like a week in between, I'm like, I forgot. Okay, cool. If it gets too loud or too quiet, let me know. What? Prosecutor Von Karma? You mean... No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Doesn't he have a daughter? I thought he had a daughter. Manfred Von Karma was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he could win. And then we made him bash his... Yes, she's seven! Granddaughter? <laughs> granddaughter granddaughter he was a man obsessed with the word perfection can we get some karma bangs hey yo chat room chat this calls for some karma bangs in the chat chat room <laughs> he had a perfect record for 40 long years who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those to he used to get each of those gu guilty verdicts it's another day of me struggling to read sorry and now his successor, I wonder what kind of person they'll turn out to be. It's no good. Mystic Maya! <gasps> Please tell me it's not Pearl. Oh God, how did you get here? <laughs> Pearly! You showed up, thanks for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then, then you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. <laughs> she scares me. This is her first time out in the real world. She scares me. <laughs> I don't mean this in a bad way, but how much education did you get? 1984. I was homeschooled in the Los Angeles school district, so that should explain a lot. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. That's, I can't, oh my, if it takes two hours by train, oh man. Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a terrain? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> she could have told me she, uh, like, what's the word? She could have told me she, um, teleported here and I would have believed her 100%. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? He's someone from my past. <laughs> my husband, my boyfriend, and my mistress <laughs> um he's nick's rival well he's also a friend Objection. oh not this <sighs> i still remember him as though i'd seen him only yesterday <laughs> what is this effect that edgeworth leaves on everyone where everyone's like i just miss him Objection. i miss him so much every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end It was always back and forth with them. But when you're rivals for life... Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. I, I can't bear to think of him anymore. It hurts too much. <laughs> huh? But why, Nick? I'm 
I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. <laughs> we, we were in love. <laughs> we were lovers. We were lovers. And I want him to say it like that. We were lovers. He, he's, he's gone. And he's not coming back. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? I just heard. <laughs> he passed. Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now is not the time to talk about that anyway. N Nick? I made her think he's dead. I literally made her think that he's dead. Hi, Yusuf. How you doing, BV? Okay, can I remember everything I'm supposed to talk about? Something about the key to this case. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? <gasps> I feel like I've seen her before. Have we met her before? Oh, she's Conti. Oh, she's cunt smash. <laughs> oh, she is not seven. Yeah, because he said granddaughter. What is with this kid? Uh, ahem, Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, your honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Oh my god, that's right, you grew up in Germany. 30 second dance party. 30 second dance party. You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? I don't know how to do his German accent. Mr. Phoenix Wright, would you like a 30 second dance party? <laughs> Mr. F Mr. Phoenix Wright, if you want a 30 second dance party, press the button. <laughs> I don't know how to do a German accent. Hold on, so she's the famed successor to Prosecutor Von Karma? Oh, what, she can't, oh, what, she can't be a, a, a successor to Prosecutor Von Karma because she's a woman? Oh, because she's a woman? Because she's a woman? That's how you know this came out in 2002. Started German, became French, I know. It's a vague European accent. Everyone I know in Europe is like, oh, I grew up in Germany and then I moved to London and now I live in Alabama and their accent is like so all over the place. I am Fran Fran Francisca Van Karma. I can't do it. 30 second dance party. I don't know what accent to give her though. I am uh, Francisca Van Karma, the prodigy. We appreciate your efforts. <laughs> That's gonna kill my throat even faster if I do that. I'm Francisca Von Kauma, de prodigy. <laughs> I just give her a fucking baby voice. I lived in Paris. I lived in Paris and I was forced to listen to them 24 seven for like a month. So I had to make fun of them. De prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. What the fuck? Is that a whip? <gasps> She's holding a whip. She brought a whip. She brought a whip to court. She brought a whip. She brought a whip to court. She brought a whip to court. In court. Revenge? This is about her father, Manfred Von Karma? The one I put in prison forever? <laughs> Japanifornia is getting weird. <laughs> um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can... I'm about to back this chair up, stand in the middle of the room, face the back, bend over, and spread my butt cheeks. I am nothing but a hole. I'm talking. <laughs> Women's History Month is now over. 
please objectify me. <laughs> please. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person, I beg of you. <laughs> ah! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. This is like, this is like mature Pokemon. This, she's like, she's like if uh, Pokemon was rated M and she was one of the trainers you run into out in the wild. That's what this is. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. Well, well, your dad's in prison, so the defendant Maya Faye will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor, does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. She breasted boobily to the stairs and titted downwards. I love this game. I love this game. Hi, Geek, how are you? Good to see you. See, someone gets it. I get it. I get it and I see it. 10 minutes. I give the defense 10 minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense. A plea usually reserved for when a person in unintentionally kills in defense of themselves. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. No, I've played um, the entirety of the first game, which are all the episodes are up on my gaming channel on YouTube if you wanna like binge through them. I have a playlist for it that starts from the beginning and it just like automatically goes down. This is the second game and the second case. And the first case was just like a tutorial case. Um, so this is kind of like the first real case. How foolish. She curtsies. If that's how you wanna play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. I know it's gonna be a lot of heart, but I wanna see Eeny Miney at some point. Please, I miss her. I miss her. I just need a little bit of Eeny Miney and I'll be fine. She's just as scary as her father, like father like daughter, I suppose. Gumshoe? <laughs> Gumshoe? Witness your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Ah! Get to the point, <laughs> He did! Oh my god, I love her! She's in the wrong career path. She's on the wrong career path. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Dude, all of my eyelashes have been falling into my eyeball lately, and it hurts. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, Your Honor. <clears throat> Anyways, a few minutes after the channeling started, Gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? <laughs> hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever presided over. Diagram of the channeling chamber. Oh, I'm gonna need that later. I'm gonna need that later. So how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> All I'd have to do to be here is cut, cut my hair into a fuck-ass bob. 
and get one of those little those little like handkerchief tie things around here and I'd be her. And then I could be her. Hi Omni! How you doing? The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. <gasps> I wonder if... I wonder if they're gonna get Maya out of it by saying that like the spirit stabbed him, but someone else shot him. Cause it does, like there's a bullet hole in the, the uh, folding thing in the back. So it would be like someone else gets someone else gets pinned for the murder because they did do the murder and she technically stabbed him, but it wasn't enough to kill him. So I wonder if she'll get away with it like that. I don't know. I don't know how this works. The wound was very severe, but it's not enough to cause instantaneous death. Oh, Soggy Tissue, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Hi. I hope you had a great stream. Thank you so much for sharing your people with me. I appreciate it. We're playing uh, Phoenix Wright right now. It's my first time playing the trilogy and I love it. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy, autopsy report, sir. After being stabbed in the chest, he was shot in the forehead at point blank. The court accepts it into evidence, Mr. Wright. You may ask the que you may question the witness. I can't read. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for bring bringing uh, your people here. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Busy Ferret. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Cause of death. Um, the direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead. Hold it. The murder weapon detective gumshoe, whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you're missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victim's. The defendant, Maya Faze, were also on the grip, sir. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Ugh, I walked right into her hands there. The shot was fired from point blank range. Point blank, huh? So about how far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. How do you know he was shot at point blank? Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> A no, no! I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. <laughs> Is this like her catchphrase? Is this her catchphrase? She just says fools all the time. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. So he could have shot himself. He could have shot himself, which would make more sense because the bullet went through to the screen. So it would make more sense coming from him than from her. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. I'm just pressing everything. Stabbed, and what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see, and whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, Maya face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? Ugh, this does not look good. Ha <laughs> ha, what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first and then shot? Yes, sure as sure can be. One look at the wounds and you'd come to the same conclusion too, pal. 
A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Seuss, for your contribution. <laughs> a pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Ugh, what a pain. That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. Murder weapon was Gray's. Two shots fired. Bears. Oh, two shots fired? They didn't say it was two shots fired. Bears Maya's and Gray's fingerprints. <gasps> I wonder, I know this is only the first trial and there's still going to be like two more, but I wonder if, if Gray tried to kill the spirit and then the spirit was like, haha, idiot, and then got it from him, got the weapon from him and then shot him or something. I'm so curious where this is going because it has both of their fingerprints on it. Murder weapon, a small fruit knife belongs to the phase bears Maya's fingerprints. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time and two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? Hmm, this does seem like an open and shut case. I love her little curtsy. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of uh, Edgeworth's bow where he like goes like this. I love it. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse, as if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright? Yes? Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? Yes. It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than 10 minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense because now would be the time to do so? This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I'd better think this through all the way. <laughs> I'd better save scum to make sure I don't pick the wrong thing. I'm gonna say not, not, oh, well. Oh, it might be self-defense because if, if Gray, if there were two shots fired and one is behind the thing, then it sounds like he tried to kill her and she got her hands on the gun and killed him first. Because, oh. I think more logically, I would have, don't tell me, don't tell me the answer. Nobody tell me the answer. Cause I saved anyway, so it's fine. I think I would have to say self-defense because that seems the most likely given the evidence of like the bullet hole in the back of the room and also, and also, I just said, don't tell me what to do. I just said, don't tell me. Um, and also the fact that there were two shots fired. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Mm. I don't want to. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> I don't want to, I wanna do not guilty, but like, Oh. I'm gonna do self-defense and see what happens. If Maya's convicted, then it's all over. I really should play it safe and try to soften the blow. But if, wait, so she could still go to prison? She could still go to prison if it's found in self-defense? Cause nobody else was in there with them. Right? <gasps> what if Pearl was in there? Cause we couldn't find Pearl. We couldn't find Pearl uh, before the thing. She was gone and she's small enough to hide. What if she was in there? What if she was in, oh God, this is so hard. I'm just, okay, I already made my decision. Your honor, the defense would like to change its plea to justified self-defense. Ha. Understood. Let the record show that the defense has entered a new plea. There's nothing else I could do. Mia, you already hold the key. If you don't believe, you cannot win. So did I just fucking lose because I didn't believe in myself? 
If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. Oh, they're telling me I did it wrong. Okay. What if Pearl killed him? <laughs> Pearl had the key. Pearl had the key to the room. Pearl wasn't anywhere to be found before before the the channeling started, and she's small enough to hide in there. And she still has the key. What if it's Pearl, bitch? What if it's Pearl? After the trial, Maya's life will be ruined and she'll be lit. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go back. God damn it, this is why I saved. <laughs> Not guilty. I knew it all along. Not guilty. <laughs> if we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be ruined and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal. Not the whip. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective. Y yes, sir? <laughs> Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Why didn't he do that before? All these, p all these witnesses love to withhold testimony until I have to make a big decision. Every time. Um, yes, sir. Now see here, proceedings are run by... He's such a doormat. <laughs> He's such a doormat. This judge can't do anything. Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. He needs to be fired. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. This would have been helpful like 20 minutes ago. Incriminating evidence. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links Maya to the crime, sir. I see, the court accepts this into evidence. Well, she was linked to it already. Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder, there's blood spout, blood, there are blood splatters on it. All right, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatter on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? <laughs> What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. <laughs> I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. <laughs> Please. Um, okay. Uh, I think I still have to press, but I want to see what's in... small hole that looks like a bullet hole. The green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip. Diagram of the channeling cha Oh yeah, we saw this already. Stabbed in the chest, then shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue around bullet hole. Murder weapon was grazed. Two shots fired. Bears Maya and grazed fingerprints. Murder weapon, small fruit knife belongs to the phase. Bears Maya's fingerprints. Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder. There are blood splatters. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pressing. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, it's covered in blood. Oh wait, I wanna go back. There's blood on the costume. Lab results show that it's the victim's blood. So there is blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Um, well... If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. 
But too bad, not enough time. Let's move on. Listen. Just because I want to be her doesn't mean she doesn't piss me off. Hi, Purple Gamer. How are you? Uh, yes, Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. She just got him to testify again! Oh my god! Now even the judge is on her side. But if I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? I don't give a fuck about Mrs. Von Karma. So why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? Because she knows something. Because she knows something that makes her case look worse. There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. There must be something about this costume. I just have to look harder. Was that a bullet hole in the wrist? Mr. Wright, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. The irony. <laughs> There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. <laughs> Good joke. Hi, Becca! One more month. And then it's been too long and you have to leave. Becca, uh, your birthday's next week. Are you doing anything fun for your birthday? I hope you get spoiled rotten. Um, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. Ugh, looks like my time is up. So, about the costume. There is one little thing. Your Honor. Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Alfie, thank you for the 20 months. Good to see you, Vivi. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where is this problem you're talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Hello? The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. Wee woo. I poked a hole in it. My mom said she has a day planned for me, which is scary, but fun. I need to figure out where I want to go for birthday dinner. I'm definitely getting some good gifts, forcing the homies to watch Twilight with me. You and Janelle and your fucking Twilight. <laughs> your Twilight marathons. I'll come watch with you if you're doing it on Discord. I'll come watch while I play my little video games. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. Here. A, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder? Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. <laughs> Someone do me a favor and screenshot this. <laughs> so I can have this. No, nah, hold on, I'll do it myself. <laughs> No, I got it. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. I will be using that, thank you very much. I'll be using that, thank you very much. <laughs> one, next time one of you bitches posts a really hot selfie, you're getting this. You're getting this in response. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. But does that mean she was hiding the gun under her sleeve? But no, she couldn't have, because she was, she wasn't holding the, oh, I don't know. It's so spiritual and weird. Order, order, this is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Maya's costume, press the check button for, oh, clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder, press the check button for details. Sorry about that, I guess we messed up, sir. Suddenly, she don't have a lot to say. The you may spank it once me. I still have that in my phone. Is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke, nothing more. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. While I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police, what Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way. Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Yes, sir. 
attacks. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. He wasn't fighting back? How do you know if he was or wasn't? We could find no evidence that the victim put any sort of struggle, pal. Not the bullet hole in the back? Hi, sweet cats! How are you? Thank you for 17 months. Good to see you. Hello. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Ugh. We're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. <laughs> about karma? She thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. Well, I'll find a critical contradiction somehow and then I'll have her. So I either need to present the bullet hole or the gun because it was fired twice. And this is one of those things that like, I find really frustrating about these games is that like, I feel like you could present multiple things to get to the same conclusion, but it like wants you to present like something specific. So I'm gonna try, um, I'm not gonna bother saving. I'll just try, uh, I'll try the hole. Wrong one. <laughs> I should have saved. Wrong one. They are. They are related. Uh, the other person who without a doubt was not fighting back. But he was. Okay, we'll try the gun. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Oh, is this wrong too? It does? I don't see anything contra- oh. There's so much evidence that he fought back! His fingerprints are on the gun, it was fired twice, there's a bullet hole in the back and none of them- It's gotta be the attorney badge. I should have saved. <laughs> I should have saved, I'll save now, I'll save now. How many saves do I get? I only get 10? I'm gonna use them all. <laughs> Whoops, that didn't go so well. Defendant attacked and killed a person who without a doubt was not fighting back. Was not fighting back. Dire on a channeling chamber. Stab in chest with blank gunpowder residue around the bullet hole. Do I have to present the, the costume again? During the time of the murder, press check for details. Where are the details? <laughs> it says press check for details. The knife, maybe? I feel genuinely, I feel genuinely, I feel genuinely like the gun or the bullet hole should have been my answer here. I don't know what else the answer's supposed to be. Maybe her clothes? It was the clothes! We just looked at this! Why do I have to present it again? Oh my god. These trials are so frustrating sometimes. They're so particular. It's so hard to know how everyone's brain will... Oh yeah, I'm sure it's tough. It's just like that seemed like the natural option. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Yes? Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is that, is this what it means to not fight back? Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> it seems you are correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right, the wind seems to be shifting. Huh. What is it with that, are you finished yet, love? 
Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I feel like the gun made more sense to me because it was fired twice and they've only talked about it being fired once. And there's a bullet hole in the back. Oh, oh, oh. It's fine, it's fine. I can save scum, it's fine. Miss Von Karma? It seems that Maya Faye was shot at by the victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense de self plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Now that you... Why, that's right! <laughs> Which means, the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired added in, of course. How many times is he going to testify? Whenever I want him to testify again, she's like, there is simply no time to testify again. But she can make him testify like 500 times? Golly. You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away, sir. What transpired? During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. The scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. This Von Karma is supposed to be 19? 19? Are you sure? Susan, thank you for the bids. Thank you so much, it's very sweet. Thank you. During the channeling, the defendants saw a chance to stab the victim in the chest. There is quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Maya Faye was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling with the Korean channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the Korean channeling technique. I probably should have done that. <laughs> Yeah, but Manfred von Karma's old as fuck. Manfred looks like 60s. She's the same age as Maya? That's crazy. She looks like 30. Not that 30's old, she just looks more mature. Uh, about what you were talking about. I didn't quite get it. Um, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. His bitterness aged him, I guess. If you're born with the name Manfred, you're already, <laughs> you come out 30. You come out doing your taxes. You come out um, setting up a 401k. You come out buying a brand new vacuum and like being really excited about it. <laughs> of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt pretty bad. How badly hurt would you say he was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day, and afterward, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness. <laughs> ah! Sorry. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically brought it for the day. I mean, if he brought it, I think he had an intent to kill the nurse, or kill the channeler. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. <gasps> he 
He was planning this. He was planning this. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. How does that make any sense? Because they were too close, he missed? If you were too close, you wouldn't miss. So you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me? I wonder. Now do you understand? Avon Karma's logic is perfect. This testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Oh, wait, no, this isn't what I wanted. Um. Eight inches off the ground. That's pretty low to the ground. An old steel key, green jewel is set in the center of the key. Yeah, please, no answers. Please, I want to figure it out by myself. Stabbed in the chest, then shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue around bullet hole. Murder weapon was grazed. Two shots fired. There's my grazed fingerprints. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Um. I'm gonna. took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the opening. I'm gonna... I'm gonna present the bullet hole here. No. No! Oh, uh, this is hard! Defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. Last of his strength... Man, this is hard. I don't know what it is. I can't check this either. <laughs> Want to see my attorney badge? of his strength to fight back. Well, I guess Maya's going to jail. <laughs> Ain't nothing else I could do about it. Where's Maya and finger... Uh... I, I really... I'm so stuck, I don't know. During the channeling, the defendants are a chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. Could I present, could I present the bullet hole here, where he says he missed? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Gun. Victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. I mean, he got her. He got her arm, though. Can, do I have to tell me I don't have to present the fucking robe again? They wanted me to present the robe a third time. A third time. Three times in a row. 
three times in a row? Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. That's crazy. <laughs> Again? How many times do I have to show them? <laughs> what do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is- Oh! Because we can't see the burn. I thought the gunpowder burn was like something you had to get lab tested. Like I thought it was something you couldn't see. And it was, wait, it was at her arm? It was at her arm and it went through, it went through to the bottom of a screen. And Pearl is seven? Pearl did it. Cue the firing squad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pearl did it. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh, but there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. I didn't know what it looks like. <laughs> what is gun, wait, that's a very good point. What is gunpowder burn? What does it look like? Clothes? Oh, I, nothing, it's just showing me like torn clothes, so I don't know. Okay, I don't know what it looks like. That's a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. Objection! I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then when they were separated that he fired. How was that? As if that was even possible. According to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. <laughs> ha ha. Well, well then, that's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. Hmm, that does make an awful lot of sense. He never agrees with me ever. Ever. I feel like more shit would have been disturbed at the crime scene if she had been pushed. It's pretty open though. The middle was pretty open. So I don't think there was anything to like knock over. Yeah, he always takes the he always takes the side of the other person. Insane. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. <laughs> At least it saves fast. Something doesn't make sense. There is a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal? Flaw? Meow! Very interesting. I'd love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. Now can I present the folding screen? <laughs> Fourth time's the charm, baby. <laughs> Only took me four times of desperately slamming present for it to work. <laughs> this is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that, a folding screen? I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Ah! <laughs> it looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who, where, what? 
Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are these two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means he was standing. When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but what was actually squatting low to the ground. Yes. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. I was going to die if it was the cloak again. <laughs> Take a look at this costume I've shown you 58 times. <laughs> Notice anything different? <laughs> Order! This changes everything. Please look at this diagram on the crime scene. Of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hole, the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location, eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. She would have been like here. Weren't, wasn't she right across from him? Somewhere around here. Uh-oh. The judge's face is scrunched like he just smelled some bad breath. Uh, um, that is... <laughs> Wait, I just realized I forgot to brush this morning. Excuse me while I freshen up. Uh, sure. In the meantime, I want you to think things through again. Wait, but if she was squatting, then she was squatting near the bullet hole, I guess? What's done is done. For now, I should focus on where Maya was at the time of the crime. So would she have been... Would she have been closer to it, like here? But this is a table. Because the victim shot her, so he's so she's somewhere like here. I'm gonna try here. She was standing here near the folding screen. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hi, Joe, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, a lot of people are really happy I'm playing this. I'm enjoying it a lot. Wait a second. We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole, but how can you gauge the distance from that? Isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? No. That's impossible. But why? Do we just talk about gunpowder? It's the gunpowder. You of all people should know the answer to that question, Ms. Von Karma. If she were shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder! What you literally just said 10 minutes ago. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Again, we have to show her the costume for a fourth time? A fourth time? I have to remind them about the costume again? How many times do I have to show this fucking costume? Nah. Curse you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You... Hmm. I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing a ways from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? Changes everything, yes. Uh, honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen. Exactly. If Maya Faye was the real murderer, why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Mm -hmm. Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. <laughs> Listen, someone had to say it. He's been getting a little cocky in this game, so someone had to, like, lower his ego a little bit. Oof. All right, with this, the rest of the trial should be in the book. In the book. Last radius of disaster. <laughs> you are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had, <laughs> had a tough time with you. Not Papa. Mine, mine Papa? Mm, you amuse me. Ugh, all the things to inherit. Why did it have to be the smarmy smile? Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? You are like Papa. Huh? How is it all my fault? You can start repairing your standing by first removing that three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured your punishment will come later. Punishment? He's stoked about it. <laughs> Look at that face. 
That man, rock hard. <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this de detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Lotta. Very well, the court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. It's great for me, cause I gotta pee. <laughs> I gotta pee, yo. Um, I'm gonna take a quick little stretchy break. Just a small one. We are back. I peed, I had a little snack. I refilled my tea. I have water. Damn, you really know your Desperate Housewives. What, because I was like slapping everybody? Ooh, I can't wait to play Desperate Housewives again. That game is so fun. <laughs> Warner Bros. Warner Bros. Uh, we just hit like a recess in the trial, so we're going to play in. Oh my. Uh... Ew, that was a close one. I know you were giving it all your, I know you were giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Tricked? <laughs> tricked? Th thanks, wait, tricked? <laughs> that must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Lot of heart at your service, bestie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. <laughs> your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. <clears throat> We're back. We're back. We love Pearl, even though she committed murder. <laughs> even though she killed this man. Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of... I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there and quietly and watch like a good little boy. I'm telling you, she's, uh, she's in the wrong career. She's in the wrong career. Yes, sir. Do they always say yes, sir, even if it's a woman? Is that like a, lo a law thing where you just say yes, sir, no matter what? I feel like Lada and Francisca are not gonna get along. Oh yeah, it should be great. No, just Franny. Oh, just for Franny, okay. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Witness, your name and occupation, if you please. Hi, Phoenix, how you doing? <laughs> She's gonna get whipped. Just fine. <laughs> Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. <laughs> Yowza! Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? <laughs> hey, judge, this here violence this is this here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know how to do my job. I don't care. Isn't that standard in the U.S. military? I don't know, because I'm not in the U.S. military. <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. That ain't fine. That's a whip. Yeah. There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gone to say my name and job yet. <laughs> The name's Lotta Hart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. <laughs> now, now, let's all be on one, let's all be one big happy family, okay? He needs to retire. We need a different judge. I don't like this guy. <laughs> he sucks. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channel and chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? 
Wrecking course. <laughs> Wrecking course. <laughs> eh? Excuse me? Wrecking course. It's short for you reckon? Of course I did. Oh my god. Yeah, just keep shortening those phrases until it goes down to like, me take picture. Me take photo. Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. Uh, this here's the picture. <laughs> Wouldn't they be turned around? Why is she over there? Because this the folding screen is there. If the folding screen is there, wouldn't it be the opposite? Why is she on the other side? Hmm. I don't know. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Lotta's photo added to the court record. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through with this cross-examination. Will I? <laughs> Uh, okay, just watch me. Queen Maya survey. <laughs> <Yeah. Eh. laughs> Only the dog and the dependent went into the channel and chamber. I'm just gonna press everything again. If they make me show the robe again, I'm ending stream. Was it really only those two that went in? What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? Ugh. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went in the room. Hold on, we can't have the defense testifying against his own client. Anyway, only the two of them went into the channel and chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. But they only heard one gunshot? Was it really a gunshot? Objection. Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Ugh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. <laughs> I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know, and I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. So let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke down the door. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why don't you tell us what happened then? <laughs> I love her. She's making him look so stupid. Um, yes, Ms. Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need for apologizing. That was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. Waving? Are you sure it was the defendant Maya Faye? <laughs> All these presses are so funny. All these presses are just like, really? Objection. Are you sure? Really? Sure, I'm sure. Lada seems awful confident in her testimony. Lada, please think back to the day one more time. What you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? I was murdered. Lada, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on in here? This gal, is she Maya? Is she Maya? Are you really sure? When you saw the murderer at the time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not. Am I correct? Ah, well, you see. Order, Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, sorry. Good, this shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, you, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Well, sh she's right. She's not wrong. Witness, 
Think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the cham chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm, looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats, I'm trapped like one, again. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure am, but that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fay? But there was no one else in there, and you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Behind the folding screen? Behind the folding screen? <laughs> what about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Rhett Given! <laughs> huh? What in the... Rhett Given. You know, you reckon? That's a given. It took me a... I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. Hmm, if I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Rhett Given. I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. <laughs> Can you please speak Japanifornian? Oh, God. Now then, Mr. Phoenix, right? Do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Oh, just as I thought, there's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. What about behind the door? Enough. It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Faye. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm gonna have the judge against me. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear, Phoenix. <laughs> Roger that. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in the photo? I wish I could see what she, wait, where's the profile? Profiles? Uh, I was thinking maybe her outfit. I'm gonna present it. Your honor, Mr. Wright. It is possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant. What? Do you know what you're proposing? Yeah, that's just plain fool's talk. Not the fool stuff again. Not the costume. If I have to present this costume one more time. Thanks guys, <laughs> your show of support was just great. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show the court some proof. Prove to this court that the person in this photo is not my, f oh, I have to pick something? Can I present the key? Either the key or... Oh, I can't present this because this would have where their positions were. Like, why was she right in front of the door if she had been shot at by the folding screen? Can I save here? No. Is it because of the distance? Because he was shot point blank, but she was so far from him. Um, I was thinking maybe it was her hair, but it's not, that's her hair and she has bangs. I think I'm gonna present the floor plan because we already established that she was like by the folding screen. I think I'm gonna try the, f I'm gonna try the floor plan. Dude, I'm really low. I need to save more. <laughs> floor plan. <gasps> Here's your proof. Is there a problem? Did I get it right? 
Is there a problem? Oh no, I thought I would work on my inflections. Just wondering what an objection with a twist of you're wrong sounds like. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but no! I thought I was right! I thought I was right! No, shoot, I guess I wasn't showing enough confidence. Uh, nor. I'm gonna load. Cause I'm messing up so much. Yeah, why not? Sure, we'll keep presenting. Can I present, um... I'm gonna try the key. No, I got it wrong. Objection. I got it wrong. <laughs> For the sake of stupidity, I'm picking the rope. <laughs> For the sake of, I don't know, I'm picking the rope. I can present profiles too. I think I can present that would prove it's not my present evidence. Yes. I forgot I can present profiles. Maybe if I try presenting her profile? Murder during a channeling. Defendant and my client was arrested on suspicion of murder while channeling. Maya's older sister, she was a top. I can. Why is Mia's in here? It's a bug, it has to be the robe. Uh, my mentor and friend forever. Detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Maya's cousin, a channeling prodigy with immense spiritual powder. I wish this had said she was found with the key to the door. <laughs> Maya's aunt, a member of the Fae Clan branch family. She is the mother of Pearl. College student researching parapsychology. Older sister Mimi died in a car accident. Died in a car accident one year ago. Was Eni's older sister, nurse. Eeny and Mimi Miney? Eeny and Mimi Miney? Eeny meaning Miney? Um, yeah, why not? I'll try it. No. I don't know. Who's the person after Eeny? Meany? And then their youngest sister, Miney. Miney Miney. <laughs> Mo Miney. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I can prove that it's not her. Do I have to show the photo as proof? That'd be fucking stupid. If I have to show the photo as proof, I'm gonna launch myself into the sun. No. What the fuck is it? Maybe it's not anything. Maybe I just have to choose no. I really thought it would have been the distance. Cause we established she she was on the other side of the room. <sighs> um maybe the autopsy? the gun? Did I show the gun? I'm 
I'm gonna try the autopsy, and then if that's not right, I'm just gonna ask you guys for the answer, because I really don't know. Chat, what's the answer? <laughs> Chat, I, I am allowing backseating for five seconds. What's the answer? <laughs> I don't know. Not a single person backseated, I'm in heaven. But now you can. Do I choose no proof? Absolutely no idea. Now when I want backseating, now when I want backseating, suddenly y'all don't know the answer? Can't present anything yet, okay. God damn it all. Well, Mr. Wright, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough. Is this it? Is this all I could do? We're nothing if not an helpful. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> I think it is quite obvious to the court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. Bro team, did you just get me fucking- Did you just get her sent to the electric chair? I told you, totally 100% impossible. Ms. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I... I couldn't protect Maya. The defense, the defense. Objection! <gasps> Mrs. Boob? <laughs> Is that you? Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. You can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. <laughs> That's how I'd be smiling in this situation. No, my is my favorite character. It was your answer! <laughs> Mia. No. Listen. Sometimes for this game, I will say it's a product of its time. I don't like the way they talk about women sometimes, but you know, it was 2002. It's a product of its time. Even this back then is bad. Even this back then is bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> Imagine if Twitter existed when this game came out. <laughs> Canceled. Canceled. Woke Siha? Not woke, not me being woke because I don't want to see an eight year old with boobs. <laughs> nah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. I can't even look at her. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You, but pearls, <laughs> her clothes are a bit small. <laughs> the way they shrink on her as an adult. <laughs> That's even worse. That's even worse. Jesus Christ. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? No. Dr. Gray. I was moody. I was moided. I was moided. What? Lada, at a time like this, she did take two pictures. No, I take the woke Zia back. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine someone defending this and being like, if you if you think it's wrong for an eight-year-old to turn into like a very matured, breastily, boobily woman, then you're just woke, I guess. 
There's got to be someone out there that's like, oh, you're just woke. At a time like, oh, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shouts. It's so bad. It's so bad. You see, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Where's the second photo? Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. <gasps> Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Who's the voice actor for Phoenix Wright that does the, like, hold it, objection? I had repressed this and I wish to repress it again. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty fucking bad. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any... Oh. It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. She likes me. She likes me. Avon Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. <laughs> I'm getting lunch. <laughs> He's only Sam Rigel. This is the original voice acting from the original trilogy. Only in the new games. Wait, huh? Sam Regal. Oh, Sam Regal in the new games. Is there more voice acting in the new games? Because if so, I can't wait to get to those. <laughs> I'm so tired of talking. I hate talking. You know, before I start my Phoenix, oh, just a little bit. Well, Eve, I'll take a little bit. Before I do these streams, I have to do vocal warm-ups. It hurts, man. There's voice acted cutscenes. Oh, <gasps> cutscenes? Ooh wee. Mm. All right, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. <laughs> and through to me, too. Through to me, too, bestie. Witnesses' account, part two, the squeakle. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff, but I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. You took two. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all, struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. <laughs> well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Uh, I'm going to save again just in case. <laughs> Fine, boom. I'm going to save again just in case because this game kind of scares me. I feel like I'm on thin ice. Oops. I uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. All I could focus on was Maya. So what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. <laughs> a, a different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Faye. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Phoenix? <laughs> what the hell is he going off on? Eh? Well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside that room was not that of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was that of Maya Faye after the channeling? Or maybe... Ow! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness just as I expect of a foolish fool such as you. I like green eggs and ham. I do not like Sam I am. I don't know other words. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Faye is in fact dead. And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Sorry, Maya. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? You know, you can use Von Karma's quotes as vocal training. That's true. I'll kill you. I don't know. I think I feel like she'd say something like that. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? 
That's why I'm getting out of this hair business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Well, <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Nice, tag teamed in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not in 5.1. That's a joke for uh, Technicali and Technicali only. <laughs> That's literally a joke for only audio people. But I still managed to point my camera at mine and take a shot. That's wrong, you took two. Two, right? T two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you've been withholding? Finally, I got one. What was the joke? He said he got, um, he, uh, so the judge and, and, uh, France, Fran, what's her name? Francesca or whatever. Um, uh, they both were like going in on him and he goes, oh, tag teamed in stereo. At least it wasn't 5.1. And I was like, Ayo, audio joke. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's for Callie and Callie only. <laughs> no, no, no. You've got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. Get her ass. What? V Von Karma. Miss Von Karma, you, you're hiding critical evidence. Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're as bad as your father. I am not leaving it to the judge. Absolutely not, but I will save before I do <laughs> I will be saying, saving. Your Honor, the defense asked that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, yes. Uh, me? In contempt, contempt of court? You can't be serious. You hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's, that's, that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ugh, I was so angry, I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Now I have the evidence to prove it's not her. Hee hee hee. Who the fuck is that? That's not Maya. Who the fuck is that? Is that the nurse? She has the nurse's eyes. She looks like the nurse. Hold on. She has the nurse's eyes, like same eyes. I can't tell if it's Eni's eyes because her eyes are always closed and her tongue is always out. <laughs> but it looks like the nurse. I guess because she was channeling the nurse. So maybe I could say it's not her, I don't know. What is this? What is this picture? I love how she said this was practically the same as the other one, even though they are two completely different photos. It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not Maya Faye. <laughs> Hi, Release, how you doing? This is just the tits out version. God, what is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I ins not insist that the person in this picture is not my... This is just not Maya. <laughs> Your Honor, 
As you can plainly see, the person in this picture is not Maya Faye. Yes, I see that. It's not just her face, her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. I mean, isn't this the channeling? Like, Mia's doing it right now to an eight-year-old girl. Isn't that what the channeling is? Order, order. Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Mia, we did it. You're too soft. Can we have a, we, can we have a case where she comes back from the dead? I want her to come back. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. <laughs> She's smiling. I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> this was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor room. Oh, this is when Mia... Did Pearl take this photo? Did Pearl take this and give it to Von Karma? This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant Maya Faye during his visit. Maya Faye? But isn't this a totally different person? It's Mia! Oh, she stayed in Karain. Okay. Who took that then? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. It's unbelievable that she can... Yet it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. She can just talk to her? <laughs> Mia? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I don't ha have even a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant Maya Faye? If I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove that this person in this picture is not Maya? <sighs> is it something with like her necklace or her like... I'm gonna save. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna save. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh... Is the blood on the white part of her robe and not the purple one? Is it that? Do I have to show the fucking robe again? Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. Can I see it again? No, I have to show the robe again. <laughs> There's no bullet hole in her robe. <laughs> I have to show the fucking robe again. Not again. Not a fourth time showing the same piece of evidence. <laughs> oh, that's insane. The fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture, within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. I love how these people see the robe and then they just immediately forget it afterwards. Like their mind just goes blank and their memory is wiped and they forget all about it. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange in this picture for the court? So it would be this side? This side is the one that had the bullet hole, right? Take that. Please direct your attention here to the sleeve. But, but there isn't anything odd about it. 
And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. <laughs> ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. I wonder if, um, because Morgan is the one that went in there and told everyone to get out. I wonder if she, like, hid evidence or moved people around or whatever. So interesting. Miss Von Karma, you, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this, as you should be. Goodbye to your perfect rep record, idiot. All right, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. You'd like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Again? Again? Oh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to the case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. A woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. Sorry, I need my little tea. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that detective gets what's coming. How come the Von Karmas can just threaten me in court? Oh no, she's threatening, she's threatening Gumshoe. How come they can just threaten anyone in court and get away with it? She can just be like, I'll make sure I kill Detective Gumshoe and they're just fine with it. She brought a weapon to court. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in the sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. And also, the gun was fired twice and we never brought that up at all. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, okay? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor, there is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The shooter is someone else. I think it's someone else. <laughs> but I'm going to say first because I don't have that much health left. I think someone else got in there. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? But no one else has the same hair. No one else had the same hair, so I'm like, who could it have been? Because that's Maya's hair. Order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> the, defense's, the defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness. Ah, what the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know, if you were lying, I swear that my will will be the last thing you see. L look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you... I swear I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? <laughs> My inner monologue all the time. <laughs> well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right, now hurry up and answer Mr. Phoenix right. Okay, so I think, I think um, Maya went behind the screen because she was already there when she got shot at. And then, Maybe the other person was hiding behind the door? 
I don't know. Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So where did this intruder appear from and where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at the situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room behind the door? What if Maya had left the room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those con conditions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. Okay, Jesus. We'll see what options I get. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is... <laughs> I don't think Maya left. I think she was behind the thing. The third person had entered it. Well, I'm glad I saved. The <laughs> third person entered it. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. I have proof that there was someone else in the room before the murder took place. Do I? <laughs> Do I have proof? I do not have proof. <laughs> purpose of this item don't you see your honor i don't think you actually see what you're doing <laughs> i think it's the court that should be sighing at you should i say i don't know yet because maybe then we get to postpone the trial to tomorrow i'm gonna try something i can't explain yet because maybe it'll give me more time to investigate the rooms I'm sorry, but I simply can't. You see? And the reason is quite simple, because there is no explanation. That's why. Hmm. As I thought, another big waste of this court time. <laughs> Phoenix, you can't just give up. Like I thought I'd get another day! Uh, I thought I'd get another day! But Mia, rethink things one more time. There has to be an explanation. I'm already perfect, so of course my conclusions are also perfect. All right, Phoenix, calm down. Let's try this one more time. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? What if Maya had left the room somehow? If I could prove that... I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is... I think Maya... I thought a third person was already there. Can I say a third person and then show the photo as proof, or the, the layout as proof? Because she wasn't supposed to be... No. Like, I get what they're getting at with, like, perspective, but... Uh... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Am I supposed to say a third person entered and it's Mimi? Because she possessed? We could try. No. <laughs> no. Um, can I, can I cheesecake for one second, but can someone not give me the answer, but like give me a nudge? Oh, that's perfect. What do you have in your evidence that you shouldn't have and how would it have gotten there? 
that I shouldn't have? The key? <laughs> I tried presenting the key! Third person entered it. The key to this case. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> if it's the robe, again, someone in my chat room will not leave my live stream alive. They will not leave alive. <laughs> What the fuck? <coughs> I'm s like, I don't know if my, my brain is like, cause this is my Friday. I don't know if my brain is just off from like a week of working, but like, I literally don't have any fucking clue. I don't have any clue. All right, y'all, just give me the answer. I don't know. Cheesecake, I'll take I'll take the answer at this point because I literally, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Maya left with the key. Okay, thank you. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point. The defense can prove this. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. <laughs> Maya Faye was being looked after by her aunt, Morgan, Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Damn. Hit him with the salary. Yes, cheesecake is my, my backseating safe word. <laughs> anyway, let's see some evidence. Prove that from the mur- Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I normally wouldn't ask, but I have to go pick up a prescription before my pharmacy closes, so I'm kind of in a rush to finish this trial. <laughs> Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channel and chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one, the only one of its kind after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well, ain't that a kick. So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl who has since um, gone through puberty. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Th that's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! When do we get the confetti? <laughs> when do we get confetti? It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of, a, of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss, Miss Von Karma, how can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case, how is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I put your dad in prison. And you're not afraid to go up against me? I not only ruined your dad's perfect record, I put him in the slammer. I put him behind bars. And you're not afraid of me? I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. You're like 18. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. <laughs> I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. <gasps> wow!
That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. <laughs> hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. You're not fooling anyone, Pearl. I know it was you. Give it up. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. All right, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? <laughs> Poor thing, so sheltered. A ticket? Pearl, don't start, bitch. <laughs> Pearl, don't fucking start with me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really enjoying this case, but I've noticed that, like, sometimes on certain days, if I'm mentally not here, I'm so lost. I'm so lost, man. Sometimes the decisions are hard. Um, I'm really enjoying the game, though. I'm enjoying it a lot. I love playing the Phoenix Wright games. I can't wait to get to the ones that have some voice acting. <laughs> I can't wait. It'll be fun. Um, but we'll keep playing this, I think, Saturday. I have some Just Dance streams scheduled for the weekend, but it's really hot here right now. So if it gets hotter, I might cave and cancel them and make them Phoenix streams instead. Please don't hate me if I do. I love dancing, but when it's hot like this, oh my God, it's hard. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. Atlas! Thank you so much for the PlayStation Portal. I played it for like an hour this morning and I had so much fun with it. Thank you so much. That was like unbelievably generous. Thank you. Thank you. I showed it on stream earlier today and I was like, <gasps> yes, Atlas! Yeah, not the company, <laughs> not the company. Um, yeah, we'll keep playing it this weekend. I'll keep uploading these to the gaming channel. If you wanna watch, um, if you wanna watch uh, my previous um, gameplays of the first Phoenix Wright game, they're all up on YouTube. I have the playlist going so you can save the playlist or start from the beginning or wherever, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching.